The world I knew was quite simple. I didn't know there was such a thing as electricity or that water could come into the house through a pipe. I never thought about what I looked like. I didn't know what a mirror was. When you grow up in a community where everything you know is powerful and good and it's black, there's no concept of race that defines Cindy Poitier. I left the Bahamas with this sense of myself. And from the time I got off the boat, America began to say to me, you're not who you think you are. I'm a black man in a white world. There was a habit in Hollywood of utilizing blacks in the most disrespectful ways. And I said, I cannot play that. I don't think Sidney ever played a subservient part. Never plucked his eyes, never ducked his head. They call me Mr. Tibbs. I'm a black man in a white world. I'm a black man in a white world. It was the first time I had seen a black man assert his power. I'm a giant, and I'm surrounded by ants. I wanted to marry Sidney Poitier. He was like, wow. Movie stars should be wow. Biggest box office draw, black man, 1967-68. And the whole country is spiraling around him. We're hanging together by a few cultural threads. And Sidney Poitier is one of those cultural threads. The winner is Sidney Poitier. Yeah. It's not easy being the first when you have to represent the entire race. He had big shoulders. He was given big shoulders, but he had to carry a lot of weight. If there were equality of opportunity in this business, there'd be 15 Sidney Poitiers and 10 or 12 Belafontes. But there is not. the other way around. Watch it, watch it, watch it. He's going to put black people in positions where they can have a career behind the camera. He came to this earth to move it, to change it, to shake it. You think of yourself as a colored man. I think of myself as a man. That's the summary of him. I love him so much. My life has had more than a few wonderful, indescribable turns. And I have lived them. Whoa, mercy, mercy, mercy.